Hello and welcome to another update video about Link. So Link is uh, at the moment still following that blue count as it seems because we broke above the $14.96 level, the initial resistance. That's at least a sign that Link might want to follow through with that blue count. Uh, let me explain what the different wave counts and scenarios are and what the relevant levels are that now need to be reached in order to follow a more bullish perspective. And I also want to outline the risks here. Okay, so op opportunities as well as the risks, they all have to be part of a technical analysis. So looking at this four hour chart, no change here. Still looking at this as a five wave advance that started back in June last year, topped here around the 10th of March at around $23. No change to previous updates there. And the idea is still that we might have started this wave two correction, okay? In fact, it might actually be over this wave two. So that's what the blue wave count will tell us, right? So looking at the one hour time frame, then, we're dealing with a situation in which we can identify three downward waves from that March high. That means technically the correction could be in, could be over. It looks somewhat incomplete though, in my opinion, but if we see further upside from here and we see a five wave move to the upside, we can never completely rule out another low, but it will become far less likely, right? Depends on how clear the five wave move is. But certainly what you see here is a three wave decline into support. It's basically bottomed where it needed to around that 38.2 retracement level, even a little bit lower. And this correction is seen as a wave two. So it's possible that the wave two is over, okay, as per previous updates. That would be the blue count, but I will not be able to confirm that until I see the market form a five wave move to the upside as shown here by the blue count. Okay, so these five upward waves. And it already possibly completed a one two setup, but as I shared with you previously, the third wave for me to really believe it needs to reach $16.87 as a first ideal target. Really bare minimum would be the 1.236 extension that's located at $16.38. Yeah, and then if one more high can form and if it can hold away for support, then the fifth wave should reach minimally $17.72. But as long as we don't have a five wave move up, it could still be wave two in white, which however is really getting too large now but it could still be a b wave okay so these are the potentials for me it doesn't really matter if i label that as a wave 4 or b wave it just means that look it could still be a corrective rally and the standard resistance area for the b wave in yellow is between $16.58 and $19.91 it's just a standard resistance area not even reached yet so it's absolutely still possible that we're dealing here with a b wave rally but as soon as it gets a five wave move that becomes less likely because a B wave can't be a five wave move. Then obviously it depends a little bit on, you know, it's a bit subjective. Is it five waves? Is it three waves? Sometimes it's not as clear, but that's why I use the Fibonacci levels, the ones I just mentioned to you, to determine if it's at least in the most, you know, we, we can only work with probability. So if probabilities are on our side, you know, I can visually, I could say, oh, okay, you know, was this the three? four, five, some people might count it that way, doesn't have the right look at all. So we need some guidelines and um, this is what I use to determine if it's a five wave move or a three wave move, even if it's not that clear. Yeah, so situation overall hasn't changed. If we get one more low, um, then we should see the price get down to 1065 next, not guaranteed. Instead, I'm watching for five waves because we broke above initial resistance, but they're not confirmed yet. And once we get the first five waves up, then a three wave pullback should follow and be an, an, the next trade setup for pullback traders. And what else is there to say? Yeah, also any five wave decline now would be a warning. So if we see five waves down, um, it would be a warning that wave C is unfolding because wave C consists of five waves and the first wave of that C wave would also be a five wave move, but it would be a very small wave degree. So we might not be able to see it, but um, yeah, these are anyway the, the key parameters to watch. 
either way, a break below 1275 will be a confirmation that at least wave five in white is playing out or wave C in yellow and one more low is happening and possibly targeting 1065 at least or maybe even lower. That's my update about Link. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.